Roller Coaster Scrapter. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a drop tower. Obviously, I've already built it for you, and as you can see, it is working perfectly fine. So today, I'm going to show you a proper way on how to build one and how to make it all work. So the first thing you want to do is you want to build a fairly sturdy base. And you can build the base however you want, decorate it, and put it in whatever structure you want. But the main thing you want is you're going to want a motor and with some gears maybe. You don't have to have these, but I just add them because I'm very extra. You can just put the motor directly to here and make sure you have a chain wheel. Make sure the chain wheel is right in the middle of the tower. Right in the middle of the tower. And also right directly parallel with the track. That way the chain will be able to run through the track and everything. And also you want to make sure the chain wheel is at a fair amount of distance. So I'd say about a couple inches between uh, the gate, the wheel and the track so that way the chain can pass through and also the hook can pass through so it can take the car up. And also the next thing you were gonna want is once you start adding track and you have a fairly good point on where you want the track and the wheel to be, you're gonna want a stopper. Make sure the stopper is fairly supported. Well, I put a whole bunch of supports back here to make sure it doesn't drop or anything so that when the car falls, the car does not go crashing down to the floor. So you're gonna want one and you make sure the stopper is above the wheel so that way the hook will be able to take the car up again and that way it's a continuous looping drop tower. Now obviously the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna build the actual tower. For me, I like very tall towers, but you can build it short, tall, medium, however the heck you want it. And once you're done with that, make sure you have chain guides. Put the chain guides on any part of the track that is connected to the structure so that, that way the chain does not get hooked onto anything and get stuck. And once you have the chain guides, you then put the chain on, put the chain um, over this wheel and also the top wheel once you put that on on the top of the tower. And then once, once you do that, make sure it's at a fairly, you know, loose state so that, that way it's able to flow smoothly. And then also finally, you will have a car. And make sure the car does not have a chain hook by chain hook. Hold on, I'm gonna take it off. Usually some cars come with a hook, so it hooks onto the chain like a lift tail, but this one you wanna make sure there's no hook in here. Like there's no clicky thing right here. So that way you can just place it on and it's just a free fall car. And then the final piece you wanna do is you wanna get a hook. So I'd say take the, one of these yellow micro pieces and just snap it onto to there. This will be the hook. This is the main part that's gonna take the drop tower up and it's gonna drop it down. For what, for what I mean here, I'm going to show you how that works. So as you turn it on, there goes the hook and it goes all the way up. And then it flows through the track and then just drops the car. So there you guys have it. There is a drop tower for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and post in the comments if you need any help. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos as I will keep them coming. See you guys, so we'll see you next time on the Coaster Crafter channel. Peace!